Thank you, Archbishop Varsamian, for that generous introduction. I've considered it a great privilege to work with you over so many years on important projects for the Church and for the Armenian nation, learning a great deal following your leadership. Rabbi Schneer and others gathered virtually for this important annual event. Thank you. It would be much nicer if we were in person, but I'm still glad we're all together for this occasion. And I applaud the Foundation for prioritizing our health. It is truly an honor to receive this award. I'm humbled by the company I'm keeping among past recipients, and it means a great deal to me to receive this recognition. I like to think of honors like this not as an opportunity to reflect on past contributions, but rather as a reminder of all the work we need to do together in order to make the world as tolerant, just, and peaceful as we can. I assure you that I accept this award with that commitment in mind. I did not come from a place that was peaceful. I was raised in war-torn Lebanon, but as a teenager, I had dreams of someday living in the United States. Like so many immigrants drawn into these shores, for me the U.S. was not just a country. It was an animating idea, a place where people from different places, different religions, different races, and different backgrounds could come together as one. I sometimes heard America described as a melting pot. It was a uniquely American idea. Unlike other countries described by some as a quilt where different people coexist, the idea of a melting pot resonated deeply for me. This idea of all people with equal value melding into a new, more vibrant whole. It was inspiring and energizing for a young man with a passion for new ideas. I arrived in North America when I was 13 years old. And now, 45 years later, I've embraced my chosen home while continuing to support the Armenian people both here and abroad, in partnership with leaders like Archbishop Barsamian. Some wonder, is America still living up to the ideals and practices of a melting pot? However each of us answers that question, I think we can all agree that success lies in our ability to respect, truly respect, people different from ourselves. I cannot imagine a more important time for the Appeal of Conscious Foundation to launch a campaign centered on the idea of respecting the other. It is an urgent appeal in this historic moment. Scientists are not new to this idea. In fact, science depends on it. In science, we are always looking for new ideas and new ways of thinking, novel solutions, and answers to life's greatest questions. Science in its purest form is the pursuit of truth, pursuit of the unknown, pursuit of the other. Innovation and breakthrough are possible only when we explore, boldly explore, the other. Today we see a troubling erosion in the practice of approaching those unlike us or unfamiliar to us with respect and empathy. We are surrounded by technology that filters out opinions different from our own and reinforcing perspectives that match our beliefs. It creates a kind of echo chamber, leading us to falsely believe that ours is the right way and the only way of thinking. We shut out different cultures or opinions or anything outside of the familiar, anything that makes us uncomfortable. But it is in the moments of challenge and discomfort that we most often achieve true breakthroughs, as well as build understanding. We built our company, Flagship Pioneering, over the past 20 years on the idea that setting out into the unknown can be key to unlocking new answers to old questions and new solutions to enduring problems. There's probably no better example of this among the companies Flagship has founded than at Moderna, a pioneering company that is powered by some of the most brilliant minds from around the world, brought together by a shared pursuit of scientific breakthrough. This team of immigrants and innovators is now working around the clock in hopes of bringing a safe and effective vaccine to defeat the COVID-19 pandemic. In our effort to find a solution to this global pandemic, Moderna is working and thinking globally. We are working closely with Operation Warp Speed and the NIH, including NIAID's COVID-19 Prevention Trials Network, to conduct the Phase 3 COV study. We have worked to thoughtfully select sites with representative demography and are working closely with those sites 
to ensure risk factors, including demography, are used in selection of volunteers. We cannot allow bias to derail or diminish our work. We're also working with faith-based communities and employers to reach a diverse population of volunteers. Finally, we are working with NIH to reach underrepresented communities through its community engagement networks, including at the National Institutes of Minority Health and Health Disparities, the All of Us Research Program, the National Center for Advancing Translational Sciences, and the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute. Working together with our collaborators, we hope to achieve a shared goal that the participants in the COVE study are representative of the communities at highest risk for COVID-19 and for our diverse society. We understand that our work is strongest when we bring more partners and more perspectives to the table. There is no other. We are one. It is important work, it is historic work, and it is the kind of challenging, inspiring work that appealed to immigrants like me, imagining the promise of what a melting pot could be. I know these are difficult times, and I'm not immune from the pessimism of the moment. I look at the brilliant minds of Moderna and our flagship companies. I look at the faces of young people of every color and background, banding together to protest injustice and protect our climate. And I look at the appeal of Conscious Foundation and your fierce commitment to human rights, and I am reminded of what is possible. I'm reminded of why I wanted to come to America in the first place and why we must continue to work together to rebuild a shared social contract based on tolerance, empathy, and most importantly, respect. Thank you for this recognition and for your continued leadership.